So it's October 12th and it's kind of late into the night and it's getting late here. We've been out ministering and just under the unction of the Holy Spirit and I feel great pressure across America right now. I feel great pressure and I sense a, a deep concern about devastating events that are trying to manifest here, even right now presently, I'm, I feel apprehended to pray. And, you know, we're ministering uh, in, a, in a lot of different places. We had a great time both at Daystar. We've been having a great time uh, in Florida ministering. We're going to be off to Tennessee soon. But it, it's just, as I said, it's October 12th. It's the evening. And I have this great sense of pressure on the nation. We're all seeing what's happening over uh, with our friends in Israel and what's taking place around the world and the way that evil's being called good and good's being called evil and the way this is going. And if you remember that back on September 16th, I woke up in the morning and had a prophetic word that Israel would march. And they'd march against their enemies and that, of course, meant that they were going in to something. And we began to see that. And on the tail end of that, I saw an unprecedented turn of events as well. But let me just say this to you as, as, uh, as clearly as I know to. I feel a great sense of weight and heaviness right here in the United States. And I haven't had a sense like this since before 9-11. And the type of sense I feel is I keep seeing areas of smoke coming up, areas of challenge, areas of difficulty. Um, New York, across the heartland, all the way to the West Coast and different places. Uh, there was a word that years ago the ministry I was with gave a prophetic word about and a word that I gave again about a year ago and we had partners reach out and message to me and it was the word about 10 cities at once. And uh, there was a word that used to be said <clears throat> and I, I sense it again, and the word is decapolis, meaning 10, deca, 10 cities at once. And I'm praying against <clears throat> one and then a domino effect of several, where we begin to see symbolically 10 cities burning at once. I'm praying against that right now in Jesus' name. And I believe the prayers of the righteous avail much. The prayers of faith turn these things away. But I have a great sense that <clears throat> something wants to manifest and there's pressure. And as soon as we saw on September 16th, when I prophesied, I woke up early in the morning and the Lord has shown me things. First of all, let me say this. This is very important. And this is what I believe happened. I'm gonna try to unpack this for one second and then we're gonna pray. What I saw on September 16th, I woke up early in the morning. We were preaching in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I woke up in the spirit as I was getting up that day. And I thought I was in Las Vegas. I woke up in a dream getting up and I was in Las Vegas. And I thought, what am I doing in Las Vegas? What's this all about? And I said to Heather, I said, we're in Las Vegas. And in that dream, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, what happens in Vegas will not stay in Vegas. You can go back and look at it. September 16th, it was live. So you can go back and find it on my feed if you want to see the original. And when I said that, I didn't really know what it meant. I didn't realize that at that moment, as I was saying this, there was a cyber attack going on in Vegas. They didn't resolve it. They paid it. They paid the perpetrators that were holding them through their attack. So after this, after that took place, then we know what happened three weeks after that, where of course Israel had the encounter it had, the wickedness that came against it. And the word was that the Iron Dome did not complete its, its job. In other words, things got through the Iron Dome. Remember just a few days ago? Things came through the Iron Dome, and the Iron Dome is the most sophisticated defense system. Came against the Iron Dome, and things came through it. I personally believe, my sense is, 
is like the spirit told me what happened in Vegas won't stay in Vegas. I believe the Iron Dome had a, a cyber attack against it, that there was some form of hacking or alteration to it to cause it to allow this to happen, to let things through. I believe the Iron Dome was compromised, much like what took place in Las Vegas. What happens there will not stay there, meaning the hacking and the cyber hit. That's what the Lord showed me on September 16th. And then when this battle happened, the Iron Dome was compromised. Now, it's done a great job in a, in, in a large majority of it, but it still was not completely effective the way it's designed to be. And the Spirit showed me back on September 16th and in the last several days that what is happening over there is a word that it wants to manifest in the United States. The same Spirit that's happening there, the same Spirit that's taking place there of this actions, these things that are coming against the people of God, that are coming against the culture there, that same spirit wants to manifest here. So I see these fires, bursts, explosions, all of this trying to manifest here. I've been very concerned about power grids, things of that nature. The power grids have been an area of concern because the same thing that happened in Las Vegas happened with the grids as soon as the Manchurian candidate came into office. And when he did, there was a hacking that came against the power grids over on the east side of the US. And what they did is they did exactly what they did in Vegas. They paid the demands and did not deal with the perpetrators. That means these things are still running rampant. They can do whatever they want. I have a sense here. And the prophetic word is, that we can stop these things through prayer, but boy, do I sense this pressure. You know, sometimes you feel weight in the realm of the spirit. You feel a weightiness of something wanting to manifest. And I believe that we can pray. I believe we can stand against this. And I believe with the open borders, the way things have come across, uh, the way that there is a compliance, even with the UN, and so much of what is transpiring is trying to come and manifest on the scene. Now, we're gonna to show tomorrow a recap of words I gave back in 2020, talking about how the USA is right in the middle of the word Jerusalem. Jerusalem, the USA is prophetically right in the middle of that word. USA, Jerusalem. Jerusalem has the USA spelled right in the middle of it. And I believe that as I had the vision about the angel of red, white, and blue standing with, um, the colors of white and blue, Israel off to the side. It was like an angel to me, like another angel or just the symbolism of it, the colors of it. As the angel of red, white, and blue stands with the angel or the colors of Israel is what I saw, that there would be supernatural protection. So there was some encouragement. I got word today that one of our uh, foreign policy leaders actually stood up over there and said, we stand with Israel and we are going to continue going forward with Israel. I think it was Blinken, right? And I just want to say to you that Jesus is making a great... Man, we got to pray. He's making a great way of advancement and escape and provision for you. So here we go. In Jesus' name, I come into agreement with you, your house, your family. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we also pray for the peace of the United States. Lord, I lift up and remind you by the covenant blessing of the Lord that when President 45 began to put the embassy in Israel, in Jerusalem, and began to Bless and stand with that nation. I say in the name of Jesus, just as that was an act of honor towards your people, towards your covenant land. Lord, I hold that up and I say we remind you that although a lot of bad things have happened here, 
And this nation is not in many ways worthy of many things anymore. But we have, in Jesus' name, we have seen the overturn of Roe v. Wade, which was something the Lord shared with us in 2020. We've seen the overturn of Roe v. Wade from our highest offices in the land, from the Supreme Court. I hold that up tonight. As it's late in the night right now, we have nearly 2,000 people with us already. I hold this up before you, Lord, right now. We hold this up. And we remind you that we stood up for that, God. And we also remind you, oh Lord, and Lord, I know that you're a merciful God and you want to save this nation more than we do, but people are tying the hands of God on this because the behavior of what's going on. And I believe that the Lord needs agreement from you and I. He needs agreement from his saints to just simply continue to pray and and lift up the covenant of God. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. Psalm 122, we pray for the peace and the prosperity of Jerusalem right now. And Lord, I just say by faith, the USA is right in the middle of the name Jerusalem. I pray mercy on America. I pray that there'd be one more round, God, one more round, one more opportunity for people to come to know you. I pray that our foreign adversaries would not manifest at this time. We stand against them. Even as we go into this weekend, we stand against this demonic assault that wants to rise up in this nation. I need your agreement. Everybody who's with me right now, there's nearly 2,000 of us here together right now. I want you to come into agreement with me by faith. Share this if you would. We need to pray. I'm telling you, there's pressure that's trying to manifest over this next few hours even, over the next few days. You know, I don't, I don't have perfect timing on depth perception. I just sense this. And it's serious in the air right now. It's serious in the realm of the spirit that America has a day that there's gonna try to be something that happens simultaneously or in different regions all at once. I don't know if it's just symbolically that there'll be 10 cities at once or if it's one major area or they try to do it in one of the major areas when, and, and you'd make, it'd make you think that it would be, you know, um, <clears throat> New York. Or you would think that it would be an area like that. And I'm just saying in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we come into agreement for the, the favor of God over this. We come into agreement that the Lord, you, do, you want to rescue this nation more than we want it rescued, God. You want to rescue uh, this, this land more than we want to see it rescued. So I come into agreement with your word and your promise and your goodwill. You're a good God. And Lord, we begin to release angels according to Psalm 29. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. According to Hebrews chapter one, we release the angelic forces over America, over Israel right now. We release the hand of God over these things. In Jesus' name, we come into agreement with your word in the name of the Lord. There are many more just like you. There are 7,000 more just like you that are standing up for the truth of God, that are preaching the gospel, that are standing in agreement for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We begin to stand for this nation in Jesus' name. I release faith and favor over you. Don't you fear for one second? Don't you get an anxiety? If sudden news breaks and challenges happen, which I'm sensing trying to manifest right now, I had a word about things happening in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, and people wake up to chaos. I bind that in Jesus' name. I bind it in Jesus' name. Your word says, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we bind in heaven is bound on earth. And we come into agreement with that right now. In Jesus' name, we bind the wicked one. We bind darkness over this land. And we release the covenant blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I remind you, O oh Lord, I remind people of all the gospel that has been preached from the United States, all the missionaries that have been sent out from the United States. And I lift that up as a remembrance. The revivalists who stood up in this land, the religious liberties that people sought out to escape from tyranny and come to this land. We hold up America tonight. 
And I declare Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall this land, nor any plague come near its dwelling. I release the blessing of the Lord. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only see it with your eyes. And I declare over the righteous, you are protected, you are provided for, you are preserved. The covenant blessing of God resides on you. And make no mistake, God wants to rescue this land even more than you do, more than I do. He loves America. He loves the people of God more than we do. He loves every nation. He loves your nation more than you do. He loves the people within the nations. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I know it's really late at night and we've got a couple thousand people on here. But people, I, can you feel what I'm feeling? Do, do many of you feel it? Comment if you feel it. Do you sense what I'm sensing? There's pressure in the air, but I'm pushing a back against it by, <clears throat> by the Spirit of God. I'm pushing back against it. You know, one of the words God shared with us, he prophesied to us some time ago, and over the last year, I kept seeing ships trying to come across the sea. Ships trying to come across the sea. And I saw his hand staying that off because of not only war play, where they were just kind of acting like they were running drills, but really doing war games out there, real stuff. But I believe that bo there's nations that want to launch their fleets into the seas and begin to come across. And I believe we are seeing a stopping of that right now in Jesus' name. We lift up Taiwan right now in the name of Jesus. I lift up that nation right now. I lift it up in Jesus' name. Listen to me. Everything that's going on, number one, it's real and it's horrible. But make no mistake, consider what's not being said anymore in the mainstream. Consider what you're not hearing about that you were hearing a lot about a week or two ago. The Manchurian candidate under examination, his wicked son under examination. What's going on with the billions of dollars that are being sent of taxpayer resources to another nation to cover up a whole nother scenario? The fact that one nation with, that rhymes with Iran ended up with several billions. The fact that we left a whole lot of resources just about a year and a half ago, two years ago, over in another nation, all of our munitions and all of our military abandonment that happened there. And lo and behold, suddenly all these guys have everything they need to come against the apple of God's eye. And so much more. Nobody's even talking about Maui. Nobody's even talking about the fact that a whole region got burnt out of their homes. <clears throat> and that's just the beginning. Or how about all the infiltration at our our boundary lines that have been crossed and people running right into here. They're saying millions have run in. And it ain't women and children. But I want to say to you, this is not a hopeless word. I'm not giving you hopelessness. I'm not trying to give you anxiety. I feel the strength of God coming to you to rise up at this time and press back against this wicked agenda. Because uncovering is a part of this. There's still an uncovering. Here's the word of the Lord, and you need to buckle up for this one. You better buckle up. Sorrow will last for the night, but joy will come in the morning. And this is not the end. This is not the end. These are birth pangs. It's not the end. You be strong. You lean in faith. God needs your agreement. He needs your faith. He needs you to line up with him in his word. Because as he is, so are we in this world. He needs you to be an ambassador of the gospel coming into this world right now. First John chapter 4, as he is, so are we in this world. You can have boldness, boldness in the day of judgment. Because perfect love drives out fear. Don't you shrink back. Don't you be afraid. Don't you fall to the wayside. Whew. I feel the spirit of might coming on many of you. 
the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of might, strengthening you, strengthening your family, strengthening you for the day of adversity. That in the day of judgment, the Bible says, you can have boldness. Boldness. I believe we're going to see a shaking and a quaking and a great revival in the midst of all this. Because here's the word of the Lord I saw for 2024. I'll be sharing this even more clearly as I keep getting more about it. In 24, there's the war, but there's the roar. There's a roar in 24. Because when the righteous cry out, the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. And the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. And these savages that are snuffing out the lives of the innocent, brutally snuffing out their lives. Lord, we ask and we remind you of your covenant with that nation. And we remind you of your covenant with this nation and every nation that's a sheep nation that fears you and does what is right before your eyes. And I just declare, if nobody else is here, Jesus, we're here tonight. Late into the night. It is so late right now. And we are here in Jesus' name. Here we are in the middle of the night. Just stretch out your hand towards me in faith. I'm stretching it out towards you right now. Right now. Stretch out your hand with me. Come into agreement. Lord, we hold up America one more time. We hold up Israel one more time. We hold up the nations that love you, that keep your commands, that do what is right according to your standards for nations. And we begin to call on the great God of heaven. We call on Jehovah. We call on the King of Saints. We call on the Great and Mighty, the Lamb of God. We call on the Lion. We call on our covenant, the blood of the Lamb, the Ancient of Days, the Ancient of Days. And we say, O oh Lord, hear and act. I'm believing that things will be averted, turned. I have to tell you, I sense this pressure wanting to come. It's like it wants to come. I, you know, like when it, it's pressure, I like to say, man, it's going to happen right now. There's something trying to manifest in this nation right now. Right now. It's like right now. It's like I can see it. I can sense it. But I'm telling you, we stand against it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. The devil is a liar. And those of you who are spiritually asleep, you better wake up. You better repent. You better get rescued from this present evil age, according to Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. Repent of your sins and give your life to Jesus. Be rescued from a burning hell. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Turn from your sin. Run to Jesus. Now's the time. Now's the time. Some of you are going to feel the spirit of might coming on you to say some things, to stand up and just pray and pray some more. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. The mighty God. The mighty one of Israel. The mighty one of Israel. Some of you... I hear this right now. You have had unjust persecution. Unjust persecution. This sense I've been seeing since September 16th when I woke up and prophesied about, the Lord prophesied to us about Israel marching on September 16th and then that what's happening there is a sign of what's going to try to manifest here in the United States and several other nations. 
I believe in the middle of this, there's been, there's at least two I know of that when this broke out against Israel, an earthquake hit one of those other nations and then a second one. And I believe there's coming another very strong one. I sense it. I remember saying uh, multiple earthquakes in a day would come. I believe that's coming. Listen to me. You don't want to mess with God's covenant. You don't want to do it. Don't do it. I, man, America, I am telling you, every leader that would mess with God's covenant, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, I, I sense the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Jesus right now. Don't need to be all demonstrative and I sense the spirit of the Lord and he's gonna make a way for you in the middle of this. Some of you, I was saying this a moment ago, hear me, this is for you. Some of you have been having unusual, intense amounts of warfare. You've had unusual, intense amounts of persecution. You've had unusual and intense amounts of being misunderstood. And it's simply because of what God's calling you to do. Jesus said, I don't think I came to bring peace. I came to bring a sword separating one from the other. And the reason is, is when you begin to take your stand for Jesus, and I mean, you stand for Jesus, there will be things that manifest in other people and they don't even know what they're doing. But they allow demonic forces to work through them to stop the momentum of God by faith coming through you. And I say over your life, move on. You just got to keep moving. You can't say the right thing to the wrong people, but you can never say the wrong thing to the right people. Get with your tribe, pray, love the people of God. Love the people of God. Love the people of God. Keep standing in faith. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Some of you have had a lot of things that are just Listen to me. Some of you have just had things coming against you. You don't know how to explain it. You can't out-debate Jezebel. Jezebel hunts down the prophetic, hunts down people that are full of grace and love and full of uh, the fire of God. You can't out-communicate Jezebel. And wherever rebellion is, Jezebel's usually at the head of it. Wherever you get a bunch of unruly children in a particular house, whether it's a house of faith or an institution, Jezebel is present. So is that Leviathan thing that tries to choke you and crush you, constrict you. But we don't do that, do we? <laughs> we stand in faith for the goodness of God. And we see the freedom of the Lord begin to move. And I release the freedom of the Lord to move freely and lightly right now in Jesus' name. The freedom of God over you to move freely and lightly in Jesus' name. The strength of God, the word of God, the love of God moving in your heart and mind right now. Jesus is Lord. He's Lord. So I encourage you, be filled with faith, be filled with the love of God. Don't shrink back, not even a little bit. Don't do it. God is with you. God is with you. I'll say it one more time. I hear sirens. There's alerts. Smoke. Flashing. Darkness. States. East Coast. West Coast. Heartland. Panhandle. North. South. Signs, wonders. Have you noticed there's been a trend just a few weeks ago? It was all UFO, UFO, UFO. Oh, that went quiet. And then it began to be climate, 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 climate because of the fires in Maui. Oh, that went quiet. Then shortly after that, it was just kind of like, well, you know, we got things going on. We got to make sure that we put 45 behind bars louder, louder, louder. And suddenly that went quiet. And then Israel. And there's been a lot in between all that. And there's more to come. 
And this is a great excuse, and I hate to say it this way because it's real what's happening. It's evil what's happening. It's wrong, but I'm telling you, I believe it's been induced for the 2024 cycle where we pick our leaders. And I believe it's been an inducing to cover over what they're trying to pull off. I'm going to read you something out of this book here, Servant Supplier. Heather just handed this to me. It says here, this powerful scripture holds an understanding of a high-level intervention. You can pray for high-level angelic assistance as he is, so are we in this world. If Jesus could pray it, so can we. Matthew 26, 53, it says this. I'm reading out of the, my book here, Servants of Fire. It's just got a good prayer thing in the back. Matthew 26, 53, it says, Do you not think I can now pray to my Father and he will not provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? Well, Lord, if Jesus could call on that, and he has a covenant on him, he made the covenant, he's the prototype, the firstborn among many brethren, well, we come into agreement with the prayer of Jesus, what he could do. We begin to call right now for the nations, 12 legions of angels in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that just like Jesus knew he could simply pray and ask you to provide him with many angels, we have the same ability through Jesus, through your word, to call forth the assistance of your angels. In Jesus' name, I call forth your heavenly legions to assist us in this circumstance. We release it right now. We release it right now. The rescue of the Lord. The rescue of the Lord. The rescue of the Lord. The rescue of Almighty God. Angelic assistance. We release the rescue of the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. The rescue of the Lord. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. I begin to release that over the people of God. I release that over the people of God. I release it over this nation, over this time. In the name of Jesus, I just release it. The favor of God, the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to come pray real quick, Heather? Is that what you want to do? I was trying to pray for a moment and it ends up in the middle of the night here. Yeah, Just pray name, against fear. In the name of Jesus, we come against a spirit because that's what it is. We come against a spirit of fear in Jesus' name. We bind a spirit of fear and we release peace. We release clarity. I come against chaos in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. I come against the stirring of chaos. I bind the plans of the enemy yes. right now. I bind blueprints. I bind strategic plans that are not of God. I bind things that are not of him. And I say right now in the name of Jesus, we bind those things and we just stir up the, the enemy's camp in a way of they just receive their own sword. They receive their own confusion in Jesus' name. Yes. And we send it. We send it back to them in Jesus' name. And I release peace. Peace for the people of God. Peace in Jesus' name. Yes. I release the peace of Jesus over you. Perfect love casting out all fear. Yes. I think if you're dealing with fear, you need to lay hands on yourself and you have the power of God in your mouth. You have all you have all of the fruits of the spirit. They are working right now in you. And I thank you that joy and peace is working on your behalf. Clarity of mind. Yes. You have clean clean and clear clarity of mind right now in Jesus' name. Right now. And I release peace. Nothing broken and nothing lacking. Yes, Lord. Peace surpassing all of your understanding, guarding your heart and mind through right Christ now. Jesus. Right now. I thank you that you just are <clears throat> even sensing the presence of God. His presence is far more powerful. And we exchange any form of fear for peace right now and clarity and wisdom. Yes. And knowing what to do. Yes, and Lord. what to say and how to pray yes. and how to speak to a thing with the authority that Jesus put in your mouth. Yes, Lord. When you said yes to him. Yes, Lord. So I thank you, Jesus. No fear. No, no fear. fear. Only peace. <clears throat>
And I thank you, Lord. There's power in agreement, and there's a few people here coming into an agreement. So I place a demand. We place a draw on our covenant. His name is Jesus. And I just release protection, the protection of the Lord, the protection of the Lord right now, the rescue of the Lord. And just like as he is, so are we in this world <coughs> that we can place a high demand on just protection with um, calling on angels and saying, I thank you, Lord, for the protection of the Lord in Jesus name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Peace to your heart. Wisdom in Jesus' name. There are agents of change that are involved. There are people of God that are in this thing that we don't even know about. And I just release protection over them that are dealing on the front line of all the things that are going on. I just release the protection of those who are even still in government or still in places of authority, still in places of protection. And we just release the protection of the Lord, the peace of God over them, whether it's police officers all the way up into our government system. There are still believers out there. There are still men and women of God that are in, in fighting still on our behalf. I just even speak strength to the ones that are on the, uh, the around the boundaries. The ones who are involved in the boundaries that are needing actual physical help with what they do, I just release peace to them, strength to them. We come in agreement for these people that are on the front lines doing what they do. We bless them in Jesus' name that they would have wisdom and peace. I bless you and your household. Thank you, Lord. I bless you and your family. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Do not let fear in. It's, a, it's garbage. Do not let it in your heart. Do not let it get into your heart. Thank you, Jesus. But you you exchange it for the peace of God and the wisdom of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Well, listen, guys. Mm -hmm. I want to say something to you. Yeah. This is really important. I'm going to pray for you one more time. Mm -hmm. And just before I do that, I just want to say a huge thank you. to the. I need to give you guys an update. Oh, yeah. We had a tremendous time uh, at Daystar. Yeah. We're going to be going back there again. And uh, we were able to be live and, and stand with so many people. And, um, you know, but it's, it's because our partners send us. We're going to so many places because of you. And we're able to do it. And remember, don't fall for all the stuff out there. I'm going to pray for you in a second. But remember, don't fall for the stuff out there. The only way that you sow or become a partner, and I hope you do. hope you become a partner. Go to josephz.com. Text the keyword 719-259-0029. You can uh, join up that way. You text the keyword give to that number. Here's what I'm just simply saying. You're sending us, we're with you. And we're believing God for many more this year so we can really get after things and begin to rescue, bring more people. Sometimes on one broadcast alone, just two weeks ago, I, I only counted one time, but two weeks ago we had over 200 people mm -hmm. ask Jesus to rescue them on. on this broadcast. They prayed the prayer of salvation. Mm -hmm. 200 people on one broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, that happens a lot on here. You guys helped do that. And you did it. <laughs> you a lot of people getting born again through yes, these broadcasts, so thank you. Let me just say this, though. You know how to give. You know how to stand. But I want to stand with you now. Jesus, I pray for our friends. Yeah. No matter what comes next, mm -hmm. we stand in faith and favor, no fear. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, I speak to your heart and your mind. I give you permission. Give yourself permission to rest permission to be at peace yes. in Jesus name the peace that passes understanding guarding your heart in your mind right. Jesus loves you yeah, Jesus loves you and so do we mm -hmm. well we got some more meetings to do this week thank you for sending us we love you if you partner you're going to hear from us our ministry will call you and pray with you and stand with you and if you simply can't do anything we're here for you Praise God, josephz.com. Download the app and don't forget to text to join 719-719-3637. Text the keyword join to that number and you'll become part of the, a text list with 20 something thousand other people right now. And uh, we send out links and updates. So I love y'all. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks for standing with us. We're standing with you. Let's keep praying. There's pressure in the air. Something's trying to manifest.
something gloomy, something disastrous. You can feel it, but I believe we did something tonight. If you could see in the spirit what your words do when you begin to speak and talk and speak to a thing, you would you would just continue. But we bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Amen. you for standing in the gap. Thank you for coming into an agreement with us. And we bless you all. And yeah, we bless you. So much. Love you guys. Love you.